sure what that one is over there and the almost gone into the ocean over there hasn't it but these here used to hold big guns in them yeah let's have a look It says, Bribie had two batteries, number one gun at the ready 24 hours a day, and the number two gun was located 140 metres to the north. It was on standby 24 hours a day. It is these two gun emplacements that give Bribie, Fort Bribie its name. See, in that photo there, you can actually see there was guns coming out of it and they had it all camouflaged. Mm. See, they had camouflage on it. Yeah. But now, That's a big camouflage net coming off the side. But now it's not on there because you can clearly see it. It's pretty big, isn't it? Yeah. My goodness. So Bodhi, this was number one gun tower and look if you look through here, see on the wall? Yeah. On that wall there yeah. was everybody's duty so somebody had to be there and they would write things on the wall about, I don't know, whatever things they needed to listen out for or watch for because this was to protect us so it could watch out here out from here yeah to get the boats that were attacking us if boats came to attack us yeah or or if a, or if a submarine went through the mine detector um relay thing can't what remember what it's called hell? All lifted up. Another one here. Let's have a look at this one, Bodie. Should we go behind it? Oh, there's a sign here. It tells us what it is. What does it say? Plotting the enemy's path. Oh, here's a map with everything here. So, where are we? You are here. Northern Mine Control Hut and Southern Mine Control Hut. So this is where the dudes <laughs> would, I don't know, Put let's read it. Line. Let's read it. It says, in the battery plotting room, fortress engineers calculated settings for targets in Moreton Bay. They then controlled the guns and searchlights on the target. In their job, accuracy was crucial. Today these structures are buried beneath the sand beneath, between the mine control huts and the northern searchlight. Look out to sea and you may spot container ships travelling very close to the shoreline in the northwest channel to the port of Brisbane. Yeah, that we see them. This is the same route enemy ships would have taken had they approached the coast. Ooh, creepy looking there. These, these things aren't very big, are they? What? It's like trees growing in the roof. They're not trees, they're vines. There's the actual tree growing above it. Well, it was a tree. I found beans! I see peppers. Beans? beans. I don't know, they look like some form of bean, don't they? Let's not touch them.
if you like my videos, press the like button and subscribe and the notification bell. Bye. See ya. <laughs>